And good evening. It is six o'clock. I'm Mark Mellinger and we're glad you're with us. President Trump is holding a rally in East Tennessee tonight. This time he is in Chattanooga again campaigning for Marsha Blackburn. It is the second rally he has held for her in just over a month. And this time around, the vice president will also be in town to affirm his support for her. Of course, the Congresswoman is up against our former governor, Phil Bredesen, in the race for Senate, and a new ETSU poll has them tied. They are both battling for Bob Corker's spot. He has chosen not to run for re-election. We have live coverage now from Chattanooga for our top story tonight. WATE 6 on your side reporter Blake Stevens joins us from UTC. Blake, tell us what you're seeing out there. Hey, Mark, good evening. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people and a ton of energy. Uh, in fact, I'm, uh, as you mentioned, at the McKenzie Arena. I'm not seeing any empty seats. Look behind me at the crowd there on the floor. You can hear Congressman Chuck Fleischman there on stage getting this crowd, uh, you know, getting their energy up. They were just chanting USA before you uh, uh, took me here, uh, I, I can tell you that uh, I met people from all over East Tennessee and across uh, surrounding states. Of course, they're going to get to see a sitting president tonight, but the president hoping his visit leads to votes. The president and the vice president acknowledging it could be the election in Tennessee that determines whether it's the Democrats or the Republicans who run the Senate next year. Wake up. Outside the McKenzie Arena, you'll find just about anything. There's no shortage of flags, shirts, hats, or Donald Trump supporters. Kelly Hinkle, here from Georgia, is one of them. For me, I love President Do Donald Trump. I think he's doing great things for our country, and I want to see him succeed. Like many standing in line, Hinkle saying she wishes more people would get behind the president. I'm excited for a border. I think we need the border. I think we need to, you know, take care of the people in America, have jobs for our, our American people, take care of our vets, take care of our people in our own country, you know. Linda Wolf from Lenore City saying she's already voted for Trump-backed Senate candidate Marsha Blackburn. She says the decision not to vote for Phil Bredesen is more about support for the president than for Blackburn. At the time, I thought he was a pretty good governor, but as the transitions along, I realized maybe I wasn't quite as correct as I thought I was. The, the ads and the comparing him to the Washington Democrats has really done a number for you? It has. It has. It, it, yeah. It may be just one to go the other way and not vote for him. I had considered voting for him until I saw the ads and then I changed my mind. Jason and Joni Gordon are here from the Chattanooga area, happy to be surrounded by like-minded people. Because everything's turning around now. It's, I mean, things are becoming good again. So we're on the right Great. track. <laughs> <laughs> Joni voted early. Jason wants to vote on Tuesday. Both saying they're voting for the president's pick, not the former governor. I wouldn't say he's going to be like every other one, but he's not going to vote with Trump. He's not going to further the agenda. Hey, this is the agenda we have right now. So why be negative for the next two years or six years? You know, so you got to go red. You got to support the president. As we've reported, you know, it's really been a record year for early voting in Tennessee, but folks still wait. Some folks still wait to vote on Election Day and others are still undecided tonight. The president hoping his visit can help make some minds up. And guys, we're going to be here to hear the president's remarks as well as the vice president to hear what he has to say. Of course, we'll bring you all the details tonight at 11. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Blake Stevens, WATE, six on your side. Nice job out there, Blake. Thanks, and we appreciate it. Hey, Phil Bredesen is also in Chattanooga today. He was there for an interfaith prayer lunch earlier this afternoon. He says he is willing to work with President Trump, but he'll put Tennessee first. If you're ready to try to move some things and to make some compromises and bend a little bit and try to bring people in and uh, bring people together and, and solve some problems, um, then I would be very pleased to represent the people of Tennessee one more time. Again, President Trump's rally starts at 7 tonight. We will be live streaming it on WATE.com. And make sure you join us later tonight for a recap on a special hour-long edition of WATE 6 on your side, News at 11. 
Our political pundits will also offer their predictions on who's going to come out on top in this week's elections. Speaking of which, you can count on us for team coverage all day on election day and night. Would you really expect us to say anything else? Tuesday night, we're going to be bringing you the results as soon as they come in. We'll also have special coverage starting online at 9, then on air with a special 10 o'clock report, all leading up to WATE 6 on your side, news at 11. In the meantime, you can find all our political coverage on WATE.com as well as our free news app. Just check under that as seen on section.